So, the slash tick command, what might be the best command to ever be added to the game? I'm trying really hard to figure out the best way to demonstrate just how good this is. The first thing I'm going to do is god bridge from this platform to that platform. I don't know if it's god bridging. It's one of those types of bridging. So I'll do this before I explain what the command is. So I'm going to set the tick rate to one. As you know, the tick speed in Minecraft in general is 20 ticks per second. So now the game is running 1 20th of natural speed. And if I try to strafe left and right, the game has now slowed down. Even my strikes, my left clicking has slowed down. If I try to open my inventory, that response time is slowed down. So I'm going to speed bridge from this platform to that platform. So I'm going to jump. You know what? Let's just speed it up. And there we go. A very easy way to fake speed bridging now. Here is a water bucket clutch from 1000 blocks in the sky that is now possible with the slash tick command. Here we go. And even more than that, here is a ladder clutch on the side. So easy. <laughs> and very much cheating. So one thing you need to understand about the slash tick command, which I'll be experimenting more with on stream tonight, is that it modifies every single ticking behavior in the game. So we're gonna do a few things here. One, we're gonna set the game rule for do immediate respawn to true, and then set to survival mode, time set 18,000. We're gonna give ourselves night vision so we can see everything. And then finally also this, tick, sprint. And this is going to maximize the tick speed in the game. And we're gonna set it to forever. So like nine, 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 nine days. So the game is now gonna sprint. So this is what's gonna happen. Mobs are gonna start spawning. Oh, it's Halloween by the way. <laughs> uh, and there's really not much you can do, because the game is running faster than the player can ever respond. The day is also... Oh, wait, wait. No, 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 no! I don't know what happened. <laughs> he found me. It's just a bunch of zombies. No skeletons? Oh, hi. He's not gonna get me, is he? Hey. Is that the same skeleton? All right, finally. So now I've frozen the game at that moment with the command slash tick freeze. And what this does is it freezes the game. So now, yes, you can say that Steve is able to stop time like that one dude. Now the command tick step allows you to step forward the game a certain number of ticks. So you can do one second or one tick. What I'll do here is run an arrow into the spider and I will tick one tick, that's where the arrow is headed. Remember I hit those grass blocks. Now those grass blocks are falling apart with the block particles. And then one more tick should have the arrow hit the spider successfully. And now the spider is dying. I've already picked up all the experience. Um, there's a string entity. Let's do it again. And now, and all of these particles, another one, another one, another one, another one. Let's do one second. Spider's dying. Let's try this, okay. Arrow, step one tick, another tick. <laughs> you didn't see that coming, huh? Also, because you are freezing the entire game, one thing you can now do is build with gravity affected blocks because these require the game to run normally for the gravity to actually affect these blocks. So I'm now building with all of this and it's kind of cool because they're not falling down. Here's a bunch of anvils and then you can run the game normally once again. Let's unfreeze. And you can see all the blocks gradually fade into the ground as they should. This is such a great command. Honestly, one of the best commands in the game, if not the best command in the game now. Now, of course you might be wondering, hey Phoenix, what happens if you run it backwards? Will time flow backwards? Let's find out. I <laughs> don't 